Now I know what you're thinking. Boy, Vinny streams this game a lot. I, I do. I'm a little biased. I think it's one of the best games ever. But this is a little different. This is Super Metroid Arcade. So if you went down to the arcade and you found Super Metroid on a cabinet, it might look like this. I think this is one of the coolest ideas to give this game new life that I've seen since the randomizer. But we'll take a look. Take a look. It's pretty cool. Alright, after this, Hand of Fate 2. Also, welcome to the stream. No intro today, just jumping straight in. Um, so you have here... You know, you have a couple of different options. The King of Kraid. Alright, I'll explain everything as we go along. Um, I guess we'll do normal and we'll do a hundred. Just so we have like a, you know, a goal. And, um, I think, let's see what the special settings are. Okay, remember this. Um, and then there's also achievements, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. Let's insert coin. Okay, so now, um, there's points, you can see, right? And the, the idea here is that you get random rooms, just placed totally at random. They're all completable, and you get items, you get a high score, and then you can go through the door. So you have to, like, kill the enemies or complete the objective or something in the room before you can go to the next area. Um, I'm not sure what secret means. My score just said secret for some weird reason. Did that mean I found a secret? Two fifty. Oh man, no one's gonna beat my score. I guess I found a secret. Okay, great. Um. Okay, so I got the high jump boots. And since these things are presented at random, you might get an underwater area <laughs> without the gravity suit. Hootie does a lot of runs of this, or has done several, and, um... Wait, what? Oh. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Um, so, apparently crabs are not your friend early on. So let's go right this time. Oh my god. Please. <laughs> Please, what is this room? Fucking high jump again. Game really wants me to have high jump boots. Okay, so there's some like there's a couple tricks that you need to do. But it's not too like you, you don't have to know how to do the mock ball, I don't think. I'll definitely do the link to the past randomizer at some point. Elevators are faster. That's nice. Morph ball. Okay. Vinny, you have to change the seed every time you die. Oh, okay. Is there an auto-randomized seed? Energy tank. Nice. Oh, I think the energy tank only gives you 50, not 100. Still no missiles. But, yeah, I mean, this is a great way. I, you know, I wish this stuff was more accepted by Nintendo, because this, this is the kind of shit... Oh, fuck yeah. 
This is the kind of shit that breathes new life into a game like this. Like, the randomizers are amazing. But even something as small as just changing the fucking rooms so that they're placed randomly and you get a high score is incredible. I can't believe I just got those two weapons. In the top right, you'll notice some of the weapons are actually on a timer. Oh, these, these fucking crabs are no joke. Okay, here's one of the tricks that you need to know how to do. Which is, if you want to get up here early on, you need to do a crouch jump. Which I still haven't done proper. There it is. So you have to get that extra little bit of height by crouching. So again, for anyone just joining, this is a randomizer, but in a different way. Every room is different. It's like an arcade game. You get a high score, you get items at random, and the idea is um, an endless mode. Survive as long as you can, and then post your score to a leaderboard! Jesus. Oh, fuck off! There's also a timer mode, where you can, I guess, obviously, if you're on a timer, you run out of time, you die. We go, let's go left. Vinny never told me that you went YouTube on live, live on YouTube or Twitch. What do, what do you mean? What didn't tell you? Twitch? What, what's, did everyone else get their notifications okay today? go for Twitch. The notification was a bit delayed. Everyone got notifications. Okay. Because I know a couple people had problems with Vine Watch. Or Vine Sauce Alert. See, I keep doing that. But yeah, Vine Sauce Alert. A couple people were saying that there was an issue. Oh, thank God. Get me out of this. Wait, what? What is this music? <laughs> Wait a minute, okay, so I'm here. Water isn't affecting Samus. And there's new music. Okay. First boss. I wonder. Wave beam plus spazer probably take this thing down quick. The chorizo. The chorizo is here. And now the chorizo is gone. Insta death. Why this music? Well, there's so much great music to choose from in Super Metroid. Oh, nice. I found a secret? I don't get it. Wait, is it just a secret spot? The music is randomized with new tracks. Yeah, I figured, but... Got my first two two missiles. Not five? Okay. Secret. I'm not sure if those pep secrets are giving me extra points though. Look at that shit. Power bomb. 
Bots, fuck yeah. Your game capture is off-center. Is it? You're right, it was. It's on center now. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, I tend to notice shit like that too. Secret spots just give you extra points. Okay. They gave you 500 points. Oh, cool. I have to find more secret spots then. Shh, don't tell anyone. They're pep secrets. There was the, um, Avengers trailer, and, uh, if you didn't watch it, because some people don't like to watch trailers at all, then, um, brief spoilers. Speed booster. But, um, yeah, it's a, it looked like a good trailer. I'm not really the biggest fan of, of the superhero movies, but I, I enjoy them fair, you know, fine, just fine. Oh, 500, there it is. I wasn't, for some reason, I wasn't seeing the points. What's the guy's name? Infinity Master? What's the Infinity bad guy? Infinite, Dr. Infinite. When he showed up, I had no choice but to laugh. Th Thanos? Okay. They put so many people together for this movie. I hope it's not as huge of a clusterfuck as I think it will be. But, you know, maybe, maybe it's cool. Maybe it'll be a good movie. I, I liked the first of, Eg of Egnar, and I, I liked some of the other mo uh, Marvel movies on their own. But, um, yeah, it was a fine trailer. It looked cool. But what I really want is, is, um, I want a Thanos that doesn't look like a thumb. look completely terrible but it was it would it made me laugh i shouldn't be laughing at the bad guy was anyone else laughing or is that just me he almost had like a california raisin he kind of looked like hellboy got like bunted in the face It's not Hellboy that's playing Thanos, right? It's the lack of the helmet. Oh, okay. I don't know if sometimes the comic look can work in a movie. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes, I know this is something people are very passionate about. I don't really, um, I haven't read the comics. I know what Thanos looks like in comic form. But I guess, you know, maybe sometimes you don't have to be completely bound to the source material and you can like, you know, make the guy's chin a little bit less insane. Regardless, I'm focusing on the chin. All right. I didn't know, I didn't know Jay Leno was starting an acting career this late. Jay Leno jokes, you gotta love him. Zach. But no, it looked um, it looked like a good trailer. It just, you know, you, you can't help but notice certain certain things on the chinny chin chin. to go. Oh, come on. I also, um, I saw Kong Skull Island. I guess this 
it was the way I had to go. Um, because, just because it was on HBO now, and I, I just threw it on. And I ended up getting kind of invested in it. What a schlocky movie. What a dumb, dopey, schlocky movie. And I'm not ashamed to admit that I enjoyed it. You had dinosaurs, <laughs> you had Kong, you had giant fucking spiders, you had helicopters, you had Sam Jackson. It was like Apocalypse Now, oh, a shittier Apocalypse Now meets like Jurassic Park. And um, of course, of course all the other stuff. Kaiju movies. But it was a lot of fun, and I didn't- it didn't take itself too seriously. <laughs> like, some of the characters knew that they were in a movie, but I still enjoyed it. I didn't- I didn't think it was amazing, but at least- ooh, at least it was entertaining schlock. With some decent action, and the fucking- Listen, I- I shit on CG a lot, because it just- it's- Something's off when you watch movies with too much CG and it's not done right. I thought the CG in Kong was really, really well done. I, th I couldn't believe how realistic they got fur on monkeys and, and other weird yak things. The best character, like, I like how there was almost no character development. And Tom Hiddleston was just, like, the hunky guy, and, you know, they had, like, all the, the... They had the gruff military commander, they had the sensitive soldier, the photographer... ...that touched Kong's heart. Oh my god, that fish almost killed me. Um, but the character that had the most development was fucking Dr. Steve Brule. Brule. Scares you. Like, people only complain when CG is shitty. There's a lot of good CG that you don't really notice. Like, Game of Thrones does a lot of good CG for, like, buildings and the castles and adding people and soldiers. Um, I still think Lord of the Rings has CG that held up pretty nicely. Mostly. Too. But yeah, Kong Skull Island, uh, not for everybody, but if you like big monsters beating the shit out of each other and, you know, like, war movie type stuff, I thought it was pretty good. Vinny, was CG Grandma Tarkin distracting? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Here? We're gonna run the- end the run here? Yep. Okay, so 15550. Um, I, I'll explain Super Metroid Arcade for anyone just joining, like, one more time. So, first we change the seed. Um, I guess we'll do auto-refresh. Foo. Zero foo. Um, I'll go for normal. This time we'll just do endless since I didn't even get close to 100. So, my record is 41 rooms. Okay, so the idea is you have a high score. That's the point of this. Um, every room is random, as you can see from before. And the game throws rooms at you that you are guaranteed to be able to complete. You get random weapons, random items, um, and you just have to go through like an endless gauntlet to get the highest score. It's simple. It's effective, and I love it. And that hurts. That hurt. Oh, my God. 
Man, I had such good weapons before, too. That room was really unfortunate. Does it ever throw a cheap room at you? Uh, you just witnessed me encountering a cheap room. For sure. That last death I just went through? Yeah, that, that seems like it was pretty fucking cheap to me. One super missile. I, I, I definitely made the best of it. But yeah, that last room that killed me in the previous run, that room, if I used the speed booster correctly, I probably could have, probably could have got the fuck out of there. would have killed me. Uh, thanks, 87. What's this? Does it randomize rooms or just the pickup items? Um, it randomizes the rooms. So, you'll get... I think the rooms are pretty consistent to what's in Super Metroid. Like, they don't randomize anything within the rooms. Just the order of rooms. Is what's changed. Secret. I love that there's secrets in this. There's so just above and beyond for no good reason. The binding of Samus. Kind of. Any, any confirmation on the drop for a new Red Vox singles album? Um, couple weeks. That's the best I can say for now. It's a little bit longer. Thank you for your interest. That is a paid... By the way, that guy is paid. I paid him to do that. Thank you, paid sir, for the question. My uh, podcast with Pat, the NES Punk, is available. It may be a little too real. But it was very honest, and I think it was, um, I think it was very good. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, Venus. Vinny, why do you love the Metroid games? Um, I don't. I, oh, I forgot that they do so much damage. Why do I love the Metroid games? Um, I think I don't know. Why? Why do you love the music you love? Sometimes you can't really answer that. You just love what you love. But I can, I can say that I love the um, idea of Metroid and Metroidvanias because I like the progression system. I love the atmosphere. I love just the way the game plays. I like lasers that shoot. Music, the just everything, the areas. Um, 
Did that not give me any points? This run, this run sucks so far. And again, this room, it's like water isn't even in the room. Colonel, its claws could tear a tank in half. Goodbye points. These are the weak weaker pirate boys. Just had to tickle his taint a little bit with the grapple. Try to show them a good time. Five hundred. I guess that's appropriate for the amount of time I spent trying to kill that fucker. Oh my god. locked until I destroy. Uh, this run sucks! Just go up here for no reason. Where's the health bar? Hit uh, energy 99. <clears throat> okay, it's a nice beam. It's a nice beam. Survive. Oh, uh, Christ. I don't really like this room very much. Even on normal mode. Change your seed? No, the, the seed's on, um, random. Vinny, make new seed boob. Have I ever told you how much I hate you guys sometimes? Sure, we'll do boob next seed. You got it. I 
Oh, that was a secret. Just for wall jumping up there. Okay, early wave beam is really nice. Nicer than ice, perhaps. I gotta get this on the old uh, SNES Classic. You know, whenever I say that, someone immediately thinks, but poopty. Fuck! 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 But poopty, why not use Raspberry Pi? Raspberry Pi. Oh, I forgot to do boob. Shit. Next time. Next time it will be boob. I swear to God. I don't think I can kill these things. I, I just have to leave the room. Oh. <laughs> I guess boobs have come early. Oh, wait a minute. going to be a very good seed. It's not. It's really, really not. Okay, no, no. It's, it's so far, it's so good. Okay. So we start with Morph Ball. Morphing Boob. Then he used zeros instead of O's. It doesn't go as high as O. Did it really just put me in the fucking gauntlet? Really? Ridley? Okay, this isn't too difficult. This isn't gauntlet. Sorry, my mistake. It looked a bit gauntlety, but it wasn't. Holy shit. Is this the end game area? Really? Really? Like, this is the part of the game that blows up at the end. Spoilers. <laughs> Fuck. I remember trying to play Super Metroid with a fucking keyboard. Oh 
a laptop back in the day. Wall jumping was not exactly... If you think wall jumping is difficult with a controller in this game, I wouldn't recommend it with a keyboard. Jesus. It's decent items, please. If I do not get better, Vinny, it's possible to get a good, get good at wall jumping on a keyboard. Wait, so you're saying that it's easier to do it with a keyboard? Why does the game keep doing this? This seed sucks. Boob is a bad seed. Someone in chat just said, no, Vinny, it's the breast. Can we get a mod on that person real quick? Faster. Holy shit. This isn't funny anymore. This seed really, really sucks. I've never seen those things actually fire because I always kill them before that. Oh, no, I've seen them fire plenty. Yep. Seen them fire plenty. It only goes up to F, so I can't enter Jan. I can do beef next time. Oh, oh, we're doing this early, okay. still somehow die on the Torizo. On the Torino. It's possible. I swear it's possible. Pizza roll? I love Tatines! 
Now this for the next 10 minutes. Oh. Choco banana. All right, up next on Club Mario, we're going to be taking a look at the greenhouse effect. All right, we're going to go into it. We're going to skateboard. We're going to make some like off the cuff jokes that are awkward and weird. I'm going to tell my co-host to swallow and then we're going to clip. We're going to cut to a clip of Mario Brothers. What's that? You want Captain Lou? You want the Captain Lou live action segments? Bro, this is so much more informative. Don't be negatory. Bro. Every fucking door is closed. Ah! Come on. Charge beam. Let's see if I can keep it, dude. Oh, thank God for that. Okay. Dude is proving to be a better seed than boob. I'm sure someone can look into the psychology of this more deeply. Vinny, did you know that chorizo is used as a slang term for penis in some Latin American countries? You learn so many things when you become stream. I didn't know that, but I'm, I guess I'm thankful. I guess because chorizo is sausage, right? Yep. There you go. You, you, we learned. Oh, there's a pep secret up there. I still, uh, I think the bomb shit is a very underrated ability. Here's what I mean. Only took me three times to do it.
there was an E tank in here, right? Someone in chat said you could bomb jump to the TikTok of the song. I never knew that. And you're 100% correct. I have learned a new thing about Super Metroid today. You learn so many things when you become stream. God, prayed with 69 health. Shit. Hardest crate has ever been for anyone. I've been waiting for you! You did it, dude! Cause that's insta death. Please, please, please. Rip. This is the worst, this is the worst fucking room. Now it's the worst room. Um, yeah. That sucked. We're gonna go to beef. We could do a couple more of these. That was gauntlet. Yeah, that was the gauntlet. And no, you couldn't break those blocks with your power beam. You could you couldn't break those cuffs. Yeah. <laughs> 
another great start. Okay, I haven't seen this in a while. Not that that would have helped during Gauntlet. Vinny, do you floss daily? <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't gotten that question yet. Yes, I do. I also have a water pick, which is like, um... It shoots water into the scum between your teeth. Does that explain it? So it specifically attacks the, the scum zone. Vinny, I'm eating right now. What the fuck? <laughs> what? I didn't say anything weird. I said scum zone. Which sounds like a great game. This is the best run. Beef is the best seed. Confirmed. for a new record here. Vinny, you already did the seed. Not exactly like this, did I? Did I randomly get beef last time? Okay, now this is very familiar, but I don't, I don't know if it's the exact same one. The trick here is to not get too overconfident. Slow insidious killer, yada yada yada. Yatta. about any future bosses though because there's gonna be uh <sighs> oh my god no oh my god <sighs> this is now the scum zone Spell salt. I, I've written <laughs> no achievements thus far. Yes, this game has an achievement system.
7 What's that? That's salt. Alright. Do arcade mode. I want to see how hard that is. That will be my last run. Also, you'll notice I'm going right every time because there's a higher chance of getting a weapon in a room that... The uh, rooms that have weapons in them... You have to enter from the right. Case in point. Slat? <laughs> you made me spell slat? <laughs> Wait a minute, I kind of like slat. Can we... Can we find a definition for that word? in Best Buy today, and I don't want you to... No real reason why. Just there. It was nice out. I drove around a little bit, and I also... Well, that's not true. I, I needed uh, one of those things that you... you um, a kettle. Yes, an electric kettle. Um, and Best Buy is pretty much worst buy most of the time. Unless you do a price match, which helps. But anyway, I was there. And I was looking for, um, I didn't know if Dunkirk had come out on Blu-ray yet. And that's a movie I actually want to buy on Blu-ray so I can, like, see the, like, how they made it. And I saw, it said Dunkirk. And I was like, oh, awesome, it's out. And then I removed the sleeve and I turned it around and it was just a documentary. It was in the movie section. A little misleading. I'd say it was a little misleading. I didn't buy it. No, I just, I saw that it was a BBC documentary, but it was, um... Yeah. Not my favorite moment. What about Paul Blart? Malt Blarp with Dark Side of the Moon. I haven't done it yet. I don't think I ever will. But if it works for anyone, let me know. If you play uh, Dark Side of the Moon with Paul Blart 2, just be sure to, you know, drop me a line. Let me know how it went for you. Let me know if you can see Matrix. My favorite Paul Blart is Flesh Mall. So. However, I, I find, I, I try really hard to find a copy of Flesh Mall, and it doesn't seem to exist. I like the idea of, um, there's gonna be a Paul Blart Pop-Tart crossover. <sighs> a slat is a thin, narrow piece of wood or metal. Okay, cool, thanks. 
Alright, I'm close my eyes and whatever we get. C7EA. So I'll do one more normal seed. See how this goes. This is really not fucking easy at all. I'm surprised I got to 41 at first. Somehow EA has spread to Super Metroid. this seed you have to buy the rooms oh yeah it's five dollars to get five keys each key unlocks one box each box has five items in it sometimes they're just cosmetic you might get a red pixel that you can add to samus's armor or a blue pixel most of the time you get duplicates which you can turn into scrap so that you can buy a new pixel. That was very close, by the way. That was almost Rip Run. One in every, let's say, five openings, you're guaranteed to get a new room. Within that room will be contained another box. Open the box. You can find scrap, which you can use to create boxes, which can be opened to create more scrap. It's like 80% of your scrap get, goes to making the box and then you get 60% of that scrap as a return if you're lucky then you can make a new box so it's just at some point in the future if we let this get out of hand it's just gonna be an endless cycle of diminishing returns constructing crates to get scrap so you can construct crates Sounds good. Nice. Okay, now this is definitely not a run I wish to squander. Oh, no. Get the fuck out of- No! Oh, stop! Don't do that! No, don't kill me! Oh, thank God. And the ice beam. Holy shit. If I land wrong, I might land on a fish and die. Crab. Okay, let's get out of here. tanks only give you they only give you um, 50 and not 100 oh fuck yeah the baby wow 
RNGs, this must be praised. I'm starting to be able to predict where the secrets are. I told you I'm seeing Matrix now. If you, listen, if you completed No Nut November, which I think is over in what, one day? If you complete it, you gain like far sight. And you get to see code. And once a week you get to visit with machine elves. Just be careful about Destroy Dick December, though, because that one's... That one's a little bit rough. Anyway, this is just what I've heard. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just relaying the information. Fuck. December is a month of many charged crystals. If there were to be some kind of like invasion and the Avengers were unavailable, I think there's enough charged, there will be enough charged crystals in December to defeat Jay Leno. Dr. Infinity, as they call him. I like how half the chat has no idea what I'm talking about. Didn't, um, speaking of no idea, didn't Jaden Smith just put out a new song or something? He, he kind of reminds me of like, um, like a Q-tip. Like he, he does his job you know, like, he can act a little bit, he can, um, sing a little bit, he can, um, you know, he can say weird things, he gets the job done, like, he, he has utility, but it's just not something you think about on a daily basis. Q-Tip is his new MC name. No. Q-tip is already taken. I'll Google this individual. It's Will Smith's son. This is not good, this area. 
This is like soft lock. He has ice. Oh, I'm supposed to use the ice. Bomb jumps? I don't even have bomb jump, and I don't have high jump. This is regular jump. Jump off the side of the platform. I don't think I can. You can't really wall jump underwater. Wall jump off the platform you're standing on. What, like... Okay, hang on a minute. Like that? <sighs> Run from door, jump, and then low jump across with speed. Okay, let me try it. You don't really retain speed in that way. You can just jump across, you have the speed, but then I, I Samus... Oh, oh shit! Okay, now what? But ugh, fucking Samus's head gets stuck. jump at the very last second. I see, I see, I see. Okay, I see. This, this, we're, we're gonna be here for a couple minutes, but I'll, I'll get it. Yeah, it is really kind of uncool that this room would come up without the, um, grapple. But you can jump across without the high jump. See, now this, I don't know if I can get across. Oh, wait, yes, I can. This is a grapple thing. You, you need... grapple to get across there and you can't freeze it and if you jump into it you lose your momentum okay, at least I got that figured out Try using a super missile to kill it, okay. This run was going really well so far too. A lot of energy. I had a lot of weapon. Good shoot. Freeze it. Can't. <laughs> God damn it. Jump into it and turn left before you touch it. Okay, so damage boost it. <sighs> so here's what happens. At the last second. The last second. I missed the jump. Never include the word EA in your seeds. Friendly advice. Alright, 
I, I'm going to try to kill it this time. Even though people are saying I can't kill it, I'm going to try everything I have. Again, I don't think you can kill this because it's it's a grapple point. Don't forget the turn part. Yeah, I guess, but I, I, it's not easy. Oh. oh! Got it. Super missiles. Yes! Run saved. Smart that they made these things worth zero points, just in case someone wanted to farm them. It's just like... Build a machine like a shitty robot to press the button over and over and over again. Or just like, tape a turbo controller down. And get nine million in like a month. back. Whoa. What was that cool glitch? <laughs> I never saw that before. Yeah, this song is amazing. Give me rooms like this. This room is fucking vomit. Vinny, I just watched the Paul Blart video. What the fuck? I don't know. It's entirely possible that the director was like, listen, we need this movie to sync up with Dark Side of the Moon. Or that Gilmore and Waters back in the 60s, 70s, sorry, had the idea to rip run just before I completed my run. Tied for 41. Some, uh, some bullshit. Some bullshit. This is what arcade difficulty is like. I have no idea what I'm in for. What the hell happened to the music? This sounds like something from Secret of Mana.
I mean, I guess it's cool that they're trying new songs with the same Super Metroid sound fonts. Yeah, this, this music kind of reminds me of a mushroom village. Maybe I'm a little biased because, you know, mushrooms, but... <laughs> so what the fuck is different about the arcade difficulty? When are you going to stream Secret of Mana? I'm going to stream it when the remake comes out, and if the remake is god-awful, then I will maybe not do the remake and switch to the original, but I might just go through it. What's your favorite kind of mushroom to eat? That's two, two of that question. Um, I don't know. Um, just regular mushrooms? <laughs> with some garlic powder and salt and pepper. Yeah, regular. I like regular. Whatever the ones you get at the supermarket are. These dudes are worth a thousand points now. Looks like, yeah, the enemies move faster. They, they move faster, they hit harder, and they're worth more points. Regular brand mushrooms. My favorite. Shit take mushrooms are pretty good too. Take mushrooms are only equaled by the um, delicious piss take mushrooms. I'm a funny guy. Masukin, where did you get that? Where'd you get that emote? Masukin has those things that do the wall jumps as his e as uh, an emote. Wow. <laughs> wow! Whoa! Fucking Christ. The 
It's a GDQ emote. Oh, okay. Charge beam. It's actually not a terrible run. I just have a feeling I'm going to get my ass kicked sooner rather than later. Do you remember the uh, expression of waffle stomped? Or am I the only one that remembers that and is upset at myself for remembering that? Vinny, I found a Creed shirt today and wanted to buy it and send it to you, but then realized I'd be spending money on a Creed shirt for a joke that's not even that good. Thank God. Yeah, you're the only one that loses because I, I can just burn the shirt and never tell anybody I got a Creed shirt from someone in the mail. charge my crystals underwater. I don't think I can bomb jump underwater. Trying. said there was a guarantee no soft lock for uh, a lot of the rooms. I guess this isn't that... Turn off your high jump. Just lead your bombs, Vinny. Got it. Bullshit. Could you imagine after all that, now I'm stuck here? Samus is doing the fucking stanky leg! Oh, the high jump. Yes, the high jump. Oh, it's still not really working.
I don't give a shit. I made it this far. I'm getting the E-Tank. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Another one. Okay. Yeah, my name. My name is Vinny Van Towers. I'm singing up them blues. Just like that, the run is over. <sighs> I'm singing them for you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Super Metroid Arcade. It's no fucking joke. I would recommend it. I really would. But, uh, yeah, I just definitely, I hit, like, a little, I hit a snag, you could say. And I believe my browser is frozen, which is great. And, uh, yeah, yes, it is. I'm going to take a quick break. Unfuck my browser and then return with Hand of Fate 2. So stick around and you will get some dice and cards and dicks and uh, stuff. Be right back.